Good morning, good early morning, um, fellow punters. The clock on the wall is 1.30 a.m. on Sunday night, Monday morning. Back about a half an hour, uh, everything went smooth um, on the flight, on departure and arrival. Um, was off the, well, I spoke to him going on the plane, Johnny Murta. I was chatting him coming off from once we came off until we departed at um, the uh, Nothing to Declare section of the airport so he was saying his filly ran a Haneli had ran a bit disappointingly and he said he was in the Aga Khan box and they were sure that uh what was it the one of the first race had held on and was beaten by a nose uh, we thought as well what well, we were back from the line but we thought uh it had held on and we when we saw, seen the uh the big screen it looked like that the head was right down, but it was beaten by a nose. Um, I was just thinking there, gone 60 hours or less from the house uh, since about 5 o'clock on Friday evening. And there was so much done and so much uh, walked and so much travelled. But it was hectic, but it was good. It was great to be able to do it. It was a few years ago and I wouldn't have been contemplating such uh, an energy sap and trip at all. And I wouldn't be able to stay going. We got up this morning, quarter to five. I went to bed at four o'clock or a quarter past four. So nearly on the go, 24 hours yesterday. Uh, a bit tired this morning. I couldn't believe it. When I looked at the clock this morning or the phone and it was 10 o'clock. Uh, the black, dark, the room, uh, good curtains. Uh, but tired, but uh, got going fairly well today. Um uh, shout out to a couple before I forget them. Uh, Paul Farrell uh, from Kilkenny. He's a farmer. He said uh, when he is the first lot of cows milked in the morning, every morning, that he goes and puts on my video. Uh, where there's muck, there's luck, I guess. And to Gary Thornton from Ballycullen in Dublin. Both of them are long-time followers, but they said they uh, never officially boarded the bus. You're very welcome. Um I was supposed to meet several as well, but we didn't bump into them today on account of the rain. Uh, it was sort of mist and, uh, as I say, it was wet rain. Um, not too many with umbrellas and everybody well-dressed. So there was a lot of... Uh, I tell you, the one thing that was disappointing was the um, the standard of uh, the tellers behind the, the um, paramutual. They didn't understand the bets. They didn't understand what an exacto was, what a forecast was, what uh, actually the first race today I want to do an exacta, a straight straight forecast one four, and I got a bet one four for I put it on for twenty euros, um, but I showed it to someone that says that's not a straight forecast bet. That's if the two finishes in the first three, which they did. I got back eighty euros. I could have thrown away the docket. But it wasn't the best that I wanted. Um, I want I wanted to put on a bet uh, uh, on exactly uh, as well a uh, place bet. I got that on, but um, terrible and bad English. You'd imagine that to be one or two uh, places because uh, a lot of English UK and Dublin that goes over. That it, that there should be just a few English people just brought in for the weekend that knows their job and they can converse because it slows everything down. And if it slows everything down, people get impatient. And then the, three times a day, I got on no bet uh, in the race, even including with the people traveling around uh, do, collecting or doing the bets. Great race and a um, couple of places. Uh, I did back Blue Stock and there was so much money for it and there was so much word for it around the, the place all day today. But I didn't enjoy it to the extent that I should have because I didn't tip it up uh rightly on the channel uh, and, and the video that you'll see uh, when Sam puts it together later on uh, before the start I said today that uh, that everything was in in place for Blue Stocking to run a good race and when you look back on it it was it was written in the stairs for us to back it as well I was on about Galway all week I sourced uh, where they or looked about and uh, see where the Galway bear was we were in the Galway bear last night Joseph Stevens wanted me to bring a carafin flag with me, uh, I would have only that was at the uh, Erlingus uh, desk in and in, in Dublin, and that's in uh, Terminal Two where we were flying out of Terminal One. I just hadn't got the time uh, because 
you could be over there and who knew where the flag was left, where it was left, I didn't know. Um, and then if you were late, it would, because it's risky with the amount of people, especially going through security early in the morning in Dublin. Um, but to the mighty for Ross Ryan, a, a Galwegian, a hurt and choker, a uh, great frame altogether has set, set his career up uh, as if it wasn't going places it definitely is now. Um, Ramatel uh, was a 5-1 to one winner on the track. I think it was 7-2. to two. That actually hosed up um, Kinross second again. But a couple of places, um, Sparkling, Plenty and Bashabar. A um, couple of missed disappointments. Uh, Riff was disappointed. But I was disappointed with myself for for not, and I had it written down this morning on the sheet, uh, and I didn't put it up um, to back split the stakes and put the wild riff and blue stocking as two bus horses uh, today. I do a reverse forecast, which I done as well at the track, but I didn't collect on that. But a good uh, two days, hectic, but well worth it. Um, I was going to. Put up uh, two, so that I talked to two horses uh, that I like today, Monday. The nap comes on the flat in the 8 o'clock of Wolverhampton. Simeon, this was a 74 shot, 15 to 8 earlier on. I see it's 6 to 5, 5 to 4, and 11 to 8 now. You, were, you heard me mention of this the other day when the day that Pinsburg was running, or Pinsburg, and uh, that was it's. It's rated now 61. When it came from France, it was, what, 75. That's a full 14 pounds of stone. Um, the trip should be all right, 1-6. Uh, I expect that to be very competitive. Richard King's good. Just get it done. Um, and then one in Killarney. Now, the going is the problem here. On this thing, it says soft to heavy. And another one it says soft, and another one it says yielding to soft. Sea Chariot was a fierce and lucky for us the last time it ran in uh, Navan. And that day it rained a bit, and I was blaming it that if it stayed dry, that uh, we would have won the race. It was beaten by about half a length. The reason being that it had won twice in uh, Dundalk. Anything that wins in Dundalk, you want top of the ground, you want good to firm. Uh, uh, definitely good anyway it has been pulled out before so if they don't think the ground is suitable I don't think they'll run it they have Colin Keane jacked up perhaps it will get through to it but if it came up really heavy a horse and that, and that doesn't run a horse that won for us before and who relishes the dig in the ground is San Air and this one and soft to heavy for us in Gaul uh, heavy in Gaul we rated 77 and it's now rated only six pound higher, but it ran well there in two handicaps, three in Galway, uh, which is 85, 85, 82, only beaten two lins, two lins, and five lins, yielding, yielding, and yielding, but it's better with soft. So if the other one doesn't run, I'm taking a chance that if it runs, they'll be happy with the ground. And if it, in the event it comes up real bog deep ground, uh, Sandair would be the selection. Uh, there was one at uh, Yarmouth uh, but it's gone short I think uh, where are we 250 it opened up a 7 to 4 shot it ran very well first time out in Newmarket it's 11 to 10 now Zanzoon Rob Hablin, uh, that, that ran well first time out, I was saying next time, but uh, for anyone that wants to put stick in my multiple, I don't like tipping up real short ones as a win bet, um, or you could double it with uh, Simeon. Um, no rest for the wicked, I am heading for Killarney today, Round uh, there was a tour that I was supposed to start on Friday morning, and I got a brother to uh, pick them up in Dublin. They headed for Cork on Friday night. They were in or Kilkenny on Friday night. They were in Cork Saturday night. They're in Killarney tonight. And they're in Killarney tomorrow night. 
and then two nights in Clifton and a night in Kells and then airport on Friday. So I'm taking over tomorrow. Uh, they're from Montreal in Canada. Uh, he said tonight that they're a great few days that they're a lively bunch. So um, I have to meet them around five o'clock in Killarney. I may go earlier and grab a couple of races. I'll see. It depends. Um, I might. Um, if there was a better race in the last uh that nods on shot um i would have went probably all right but um it depends we'll see uh i'll be back tomorrow night for from the fairview hotel uh in killarney uh with an old monday night song any ideas from anyone bash the bookies over and out <laughs>